Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how I simulated self-driving cars in Unity. I'm sure you've heard of Tesla and revolutionaries like Elon Musk that want to create autonomous cars that can drive themselves. Today, I wanted to put my game development skills to the test and try to make this in Unity. I wanted to simulate self-driving cars in Unity so that no player input is involved and cars can go from point A to point B entirely on their own. This is going to be a really interesting project, so make sure to keep watching. So firstly, we're going to make a new project in Unity. Let's head to Unity Hub. We're going to call it Autonomous Car Simulator and hit Create Project. In our game, we need 3D models. I found two really good ones, as you can see on the screen. One for the car and one for the road. I've set up the scene with the 3D models that we just got. As you can see, there's an intersection and four cars. Our goal is to make the cars autonomously navigate throughout the intersection. Let's come up with some rules that our self-driving cars are going to follow. Self-driving cars have algorithms, and that's what we're going to create. If you're interested, please make sure to take a look at the rules that I've developed. It's important for these cars to have rules so that they don't crash into each other. These rules are really similar to what you can see on a US intersection or basically any other country around the world. As you can see, the car that wants to go right goes first, then the cars that want to go straight and last two cars that want to go left, and there are some exceptions that I've listed. Now, let's go back to Unity and start coding this. Alright, so this is a script that I've created. This script is applied to all the four cars. As you can see in the beginning of the script called car controller, there are some essential variables that we're going to use later. We're going to dive deeper into them later, but I'm going to give you an introduction to them right now. As you can see, first is the car speed, the turn speed, and the four destinations that the car is going to choose from. Now, similar to the real world, when you hop into the car and you decide, I'm going to go to the grocery store or the school or let's say the police station, these are four kind of sample destinations that our autonomous cars are going to choose from. Then we also have distance, intersection, turning distance, is waiting, and J, which we're all going to dive into deeper into the code. Now, as you can see, the first function start occurs when the car originally spawns in, basically. In the start function, we go to choose destination. In choose destination, the car chooses one of the four destinations that we already set. Now, if the destination is the same as where the car already is, we choose a different one. Because obviously it wouldn't make sense to go from, let's say, your home to your home. You'd have to choose a different destination. Now, once the car knows where it wants to go, we'll go to update. Now, update occurs 60 times every second. Now, you may be looking at update and be seeing a lot of complicated code. But don't worry, I'll explain it simply and I'm sure you'll be able to understand it. Now, in the beginning, on line 58, you can see if is waiting return. Basically, if the car is already waiting at the intersection, just don't do anything. Next, what update does is that it calculates distance to the intersection, which is basically the distance to the stoplight. You can think about it like that. And it uses the function vector3.distance. Now, whenever the distance to the intersection is less than 15, so basically whenever the car is close to the intersection, it runs all this code. Now, in this code, it calculates the direction to the destination. So it sees... But hey, do I have to go left, right, or straight? And then it uses vector 3 dot dot to understand that. Then what it does is that it sees using the initial dot, um, if it's greater than 0.97 or less than 0.2, all these numbers, it calculates whether the car has to go left or has to go straight, right? If it has to go straight, it waits for two seconds. And if it goes left, it has to wait for four seconds. This is kind of similar to what we wrote in our rules. Basically, in kind of the US traffic system, if a car has to go straight, it gets a second right of way, and if it has to go left, it gets a last right of way. Then, if the car has to go right, which we didn't even check for, it can just go. It doesn't have to worry about anything. Lastly, after it checks for all that, it makes the car wait. Then, the car rotates towards the destination, and then it moves forward from there. Lastly, if the car's distance from its destination is less than 8, the car gets destroyed. Basically, what that means is that once the car, after all that, reaches its destination, we don't have to worry about it anymore and then destroy it. If you want to recreate this code, in the description, I've linked the GitHub repository. There, you can kind of see this code on your own and maybe use it, modify it, and put it into your own project. Since we're done with the code, let's head back to Unity. 
In Unity, I'm going to assign all the variables that we created in the code. I'm also going to add the script car controller to all four of the cars. With all that out of the way, we should be ready to try it out. Great, as you can see in the video, the cars worked. They autonomously navigated the intersection without crashing with each other. They all followed the rules and got to their destination safely. Lastly, if you have any questions or any doubts, I have a lot of helpful resources in the description of this video that can help you all out. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.